What's going on YouTube? Good Call 6 here. Uh, back to show you some cards. Uh, it's probably been a couple weeks. Three, four maybe. Uh, a few weeks since I made my last video. I know I said I was going to slow down, but I can't help myself. I just keep buying stuff. So uh, the idiot I am, I just, uh, just started picking up some decently expensive cards for me. Um, nothing crazy crazy, but I got my first Winston Auto. Uh, really sick Mike Evans. Uh, another nice PC addition to the Bucks collection. Um, pickups for my absolute set and uh, the idiot I am I think I'm going to start another new set which is a pretty big one too so uh, I knew I said I was going to try to start slowing down but I mean it's it's pretty tough when there's a bunch of cards pop up that you really want so and that always seems to happen right when you want to stop slow or start slowing down so um, we'll get right into it here uh, first up is a raffle win I don't know why I bought spots in it I just like the look of this card but I hate the team but uh, this player is a pretty good player. I said I don't know why I bought into it, but um, really nice looking card. This is uh, out of 2000, I think it's 14-15. 2014-15, the cup. Uh, Pavel Datsuk for the hockey collection. Uh, it's on the patch autograph, a little bit of two color. Um, so yeah, picked that one up. Bought a couple spots and ended up getting lucky and winning it. So uh, nice looking card. These cards are pretty sweet looking too. So just worried about the... Autograph fading over time on the jersey. Scratch on this magnetic and it's brand new already. But yeah, there's that. Um, pretty cool looking one. Next up, I've been buying in uh, on eBay. There's been a few player case breaks. Uh, Mike Evans out of Prism. Bought, I bought, I think in two or two or three. Um, bought in two three breaks, hoping to get lucky and hit a, a purple autograph to five. But no luck so far. I uh, did hit this one. This one's pretty cool. Uh, this is the non-auto version. The blue wave of Mike Evans to 99. 8 out of 99. Didn't have that one, so that one's pretty cool. There's like seven different base versions, which is kind of stupid. But uh, in the first one he did, the guy added an extra box of 2014 Crown Royal Football. Um, and I ended up getting the best hit out of the box. So I uh, can't complain about that. Hit this four-color patch autograph of Mike Evans. This is the base 299 version, so I already had one of these, um, but I like this the look of this patch a lot better, so I ended up moving that other one uh, and picked this or got this one in a break. So got pretty lucky there. Pretty excited about that. Uh, nice card there. Hopefully this doesn't shut off because I just got an eBay notification. All right, we're good. Hopefully, yep, we're still recording. Um, next, okay, the new set that I'm going to try to attempt. Uh, it's a pretty pretty big set out of a pretty big product. A um, lot of big names in it. 30 card set. I'm going to try to attempt. I got I texted my buddy Nathan, 24 Nathan Elk, and asked him if, it, if I'd out of my mind to try to do this set. Um, he said just as long as you have a goal uh, completed in a certain amount of time, like a three-year goal or something, don't go crazy uh, when you first buy it and buy everything at once. Um, so I'm definitely going to take my time on this one because there are quite a few big cards in it. I think there's about five or six pretty, pretty, pretty big cards. Um, so it's going to take me a while for sure. But I just really have always liked the look of this card. And this this set's probably one of my favorite football sets that have came out in a long time. Uh, I just really love the look of it. I got a bunch of a bunch of uh, work done stuff, a uh, couple, a few one ones uh, out of it. So um really like the look of it but i'm going to try to attempt the 2014 panini immaculate uh the ve veteran i don't know what they're called the veteran patch autos maybe um but they look almost they look exactly like the rookie patch autos but they're veterans so um 28 out of the 30 are numbered to 25 peyton mannings to 14 and richard sherman's to 13 so like i said i'm gonna have my hands full to do this and the absolute set uh both at, at the same time but uh, like I said, I'm going to uh, take my sweet time with this set. Um, not go crazy on what pops up and go crazy after those cards as soon as they pop up. So, like I kind of did with the hockey set. Um, definitely going to take my time, but I just really love the look of this this set. Um, even though it is Panini, but all on card except, except I think for Von Miller that I've seen so far. So, Von Miller's a sticker from what else I've seen is on card. So, uh, really, really, really nice set. Some big names, Peyton Manning, Emmett Smith. Uh, Jerry Rice, Barry Sanders, Bo Jackson, a uh, few big guys that I, I actually started a, a list the other day of who uh, 
autograph cards I want to pick up. So, and with the Bucks having Jameis Winston as a rookie this year, I don't really have a huge PC like I've gone in the past with Doug Martin and uh, Mike Evans because they're fairly, fairly cheap for me. Uh, I can't go out and spend a couple hundred dollars on a Jameis Winston auto, even though I have one in here. But um, I didn't spend that much. But uh, I just can't make a huge PC like I have with Mike Evans and Doug Martin. Otherwise, I'd be I wouldn't have any money to do anything. So. Uh, especially with looking at a house so yeah i'm gonna take my time on that and thank god for bill me later so uh next on to two cards for the absolute set i think i'm up to six or seven on this one now um knock this one out one of the cheaper ones jim kick kike i think it's kick with two eyes what up brad um but god this one he's got a pretty sweet signature all on the sticker too so which is nice pick that one up really cheap yeah i think i have six or seven of these uh, and then I picked this one up. I just really love the look of this one. So I, I kind of overspent on it. But I had eBay bucks on it. So I could uh, actually afford to kind of overspend on it. I just really like the look of this one. Uh, with the white jersey. It just kind of pops to me. So uh, this is Steve Young. Plus I always wanted an autograph of him. So uh, this is Steve Young. I don't know. It's Like I said in the last video. It's kind of tough to tell what it, how many cards there are of all these. I don't know what the... Uh, copy on all these are but um the higher guy the bigger guys are kind of i'm assuming are pretty short printed compared to the other ones but um just a nice design really like the look of this one this one pops to me for some reason um so yeah those are the two pickups for that set and keeping up with the steve young theme i, I saved a search on this car on the, not on this card but this set with steve young uh in my ebay search which by the way the new ebay app is the worst thing on earth um but i saw that he was in a bucks uni and this is the card that i kind of wanted uh since they're probably this might be the only super but it's panini um of steve young in a, a bucks uni so figured i had to pick it up and i actually got it for a really good price compared to what i was thinking i was going to pay so really happy to pick this thing up uh this is the steve young i think that panini calls it gold but it's the ripoff super fractor uh out of this year's spectra so the base autograph it's got the 101 on the back right there so yeah the only thing i did notice with the panini super fractors is there's not as much pop on it in person uh it's still got the champagne swirls in it that everyone calls and the circles and stuff but it just doesn't have the pop on it like the the top stuff does so maybe they're still trying to figure it out but still looks like a super so i'm gonna call it a super even though it's not an actual top super fractor so yeah pumped to get that one in couldn't believe the price that i got that for for a super so gold super whatever um now onto the last two cards pick this card up what i thought was cheap but mike evans stuff is kind of on the decline right now just because he hasn't put up too many big numbers plus he's been semi hurt for what three three weeks of the year so far so half the year um but i picked this up that i in hopes to possibly keep or move on to get a different evans card but i thought that i got this card for a really sweet price um this is out of this year's black gold the magnet is scratched to shit so i'll just show it uh this is out of this year's black gold this is uh the grand debut autograph laundry tag autograph out of black gold and mike evans really sweet card numbered one out of five lots of nice shine to it lots of nice pop um i picked it i, I thought it was cheap because i've seen a couple of them sell for in the triple digits and i got this far less than that so tough to pass up if i can't move it to get another evans or a, another pc card i'll gladly keep it so um yeah there that is either way if i don't sell it keep it it's a really nice addition to the evans pc so um yeah and on to the last pickup i got this one cheap too and those are the last three cards that i said got cheap so really happy to get all three of these for the price that i did uh this is of Jameis winston uh this card is just just awesome in person uh the patch makes it pop a lot too so bam this is out of this year's uh panini certified this is the freshman fabric Jameis winston six color five color patch auto bunch of breaks in it uh really nice card auto all on the sticker number to 199 
So yeah, pumped to get that one in for my first Jameis Auto for the collection PC. Um, so yeah, there it is. Like I said, I wasn't going to go crazy on Jameis this year. I think my goal was to get around five autos of him. So um, one out of five out of the way. So uh, Plus he actually, the last game they played, he had one stupid mistake, but it got called back. Uh, other than that, he was he did a pretty pretty good job, even though it was against Jacksonville. Uh, Dougie Martin doing his thing, going crazy. Uh, believing the everyone's believing the hype now that he had going into the preseason. So uh, really exciting to see a lot of a lot of hype from what I've been reading around the Bucks right now. Actually, from not from a bunch of people, but uh, mainly Bucks people, how excited they are about uh, the last win, even though it was a Jags, but. Um, a lot of good stuff to build on so got Washington up this week hopefully they can beat them like they did last year and hopefully this is a start to get Mike Evans going crazy like it was last year so uh, other than that hope everyone's doing good I uh, don't have anything else coming in so it might be a while before I make another video um, if you have any of those no immaculate collections not the bigger cards but like Jamal Charles I think he's one of the lower guys if you have any of the lower the lower end guys in that set um, with a, a two or three color patch on it, let me know. I'd definitely be interested. Uh, I'm not going to start picking up those crazy big guys yet, unless I can get one for a good deal, but they're going to be one at a time and they're going to take a while. So, uh, other than that, thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Go Bucks. Go Mets.